Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mike here with PatBangers.com today with a really quick tutorial on the OS X MIDI Studio and I want to show you how to get these custom images for all your USB devices. So it gives you a really neat overview, it makes it really easy to find the right device. Uh, usually like here with the Mini Lab Mark II you get this generic icon and everything looks the same. It makes it a little bit harder to spot the right device if you want to do some changes. So today I want to switch out the image here with an actual image of the Minilab Mark II. So let's get started. First of all we go to Google and we search for a nice image of the Minilab. So we search for Minilab MK2. We go to the image search and here's already a really nice picture. So and this already has a transparent background and this is perfect. So we just copy this image and bring it into a graphics program. Now I use Photoshop but you don't have to use Photoshop at all. You can use any image program. The only thing that's necessary um, is you should be able to cut out the image. In Photoshop there's a magic wand tool that makes it really easy to cut out things um, because you need a transparent background. So that's one thing and um, the program should be able to save the file as a TIFF file, which is really uh, important. So OS X picks up the file in the select box. So um, now this one already has a transparent background. So this is perfect. And uh, now I only use the crop tool and draw a rectangle around it. So I crop the artboard and only have a little bit of transparency left on the sides. And now I save this as a TIFF file and I call it Minilab. Mark II and I save this to my desktop and now we go to the finder to the desktop and we copy the TIFF file and we go to Macintosh HD library audio MIDI devices generic images and here we paste the image and now we go back to the MIDI studio we double click the device and now we do click on the symbol and you jump right into that folder and here it is. So I click on the mini lab, accept, close it and you're done. So as you can see this is pretty fast. Um, if you're a little bit familiar with graphics program really helps. But if you can find some PNG or TIFF files on the internet from the actual devices all you need to do is cut them down if they already have a transparent background. Um, a good place to search for the devices is in the press and media sections of the of the manufacturer's website. They usually have high resolution images um, and some of them are already uh, isolated from the background. So that's pretty cool. Then you just crop it and you save it as a TIFF file and put it in the folder under um, Macintosh HD library, audio, MIDI devices, generic images. And then you go back to the MIDI studio and you just double click the device and select the symbol. That's it, pretty straightforward. Um, but as you can see, it has a nice effect. Everything is well organized and it looks really nice. So I hope you guys liked the video. If so, please shoot me some comments, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. I hope to see you guys next time. Mike, PatBangers.com. Peace out.